Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. This year with Warzone and Modern Warfare 3, we've sort of seen a new approach to the updates uh, over time. Really, it's been a pretty consistent cycle since launch, and while other years of Call of Duty have tried to do something similar, it seems like this year they went for it and they're sticking with it so far. And I would say for the most part, there's pretty positive takeaways from them. Now, I do have some greater concerns long term, but overall today, I wanted to break down sort of the truth about Warzone's new updates and how they're approaching it, how I think their changes to them should really set a lot of examples going forward. But at the same time, as mentioned, what I'm a little bit worried about as we get into some of the later seasons here. So really, with a lot of the Warzone and MW3 updates that we've seen so far this year, ultimately, it is sort of this drip fed content system and if you're unfamiliar with the term basically rather than let's say when season two drops we get all the content right on day one of season two and then we've got to wait seven eight nine weeks until season three before any other major updates happen that's obviously not the case you know day one of season two we get this many updates but then week two we get an update week three an update four we get the reloaded update five's a new update so on and so forth all the way through the season then the cycle repeats with season three presumably with season four presumably so this has sort of been the cycle in the past couple of years you know dating back to mw 2019 when we first started seeing these uh major seasonal updates black ops 4 kind of had them with the operations but not to the same extent and we've started to see like the reloaded updates and everything but this year they've really gone all in on the consistent drip fed content which in the past has sort of been hit or miss We've seen some drip fed content before that's like, okay, we've got this quote unquote big update coming in just a couple of weeks and then it drops and it's very underwhelming or the content that they preview for the upcoming weeks, the mid season updates and whatnot, that sort of drip fed content has been lackluster to a lot of players or it's not very, uh, you know, inclusive for the entire game. Maybe it's just multiplayer specific or maybe it's just Warzone or co-op or whatever the case may be, right? This year though, their approach to essentially universally applicable content is really good like obviously we're critical here on the channel where we need to be i'm oftentimes very blunt about what i like or what i don't like with cod especially in recent years and well there are flaws with this game and with wars on this year without a doubt that we've discussed several times by far one of my most positive takeaways this year are their content updates week to week these weekly updates have been, for the most part, really, really solid and so far really consistent, which is awesome, but also to me concerning long term. Now, as far as the week to week updates go themselves, I think they do have their pros and their cons you know the consistent content updates and the changes being made are awesome every single week we basically have something to look forward to whether it is a new event or a weekly challenge and i'll go a little bit more in depth on those uh here in a little bit or if it's just simply a playlist update with a new mode or whatever the case may be so they're consistently updating the game on a week-to-week -week basis and it's actually with new content it's not just recycling hey this mode that was here four weeks ago is now back and this mode that was here three weeks ago is back next week and it's not just like uh rinsing and repeating the same stuff over and over and calling it weekly updates it's actually innovative stuff happening week to week which is awesome it also in my opinion seems like they're being a lot more consistent with their patch notes and their bug fixes and those updates going out with certain things there are several issues that have been uh you know broken and ignored for way too long but we're also seeing a more consistent streamline of you know cod updates posting hey this is getting fixed that's getting fixed we're looking into this or seeing random surprise patch notes drop and I almost feel like that's a sort of direct correlation with the weekly updates. It's like, okay, hey, if we're updating the game this week with some new content, we've got to put out a hot fix anyways for that. Why not include these patch notes and these bug fixes where we can and just post those rather than in the past years, we would have had to wait for the next major title update or reloaded update or seasonal launch for some of that stuff to get fixed. However, I don't think the weekly updates are perfect. While there are some great pros to them, there are some cons in the case of like the playlist, for instance, on any given week, 
we could have a really bad playlist rotation i feel like this is especially noticeable within warzone in multiplayer you can kind of get away with a few bad modes that aren't really all that exciting because you have so much else to offer across all the other modes and quick play that it's not a huge deal unless you're a very specific niche type of player and the playlist for you that week just isn't it but in warzone it's a lot more noticeable obviously these past couple of weeks with this just downright dumb resurgence rotation with one mode gets one map for the entire week just not it and that is one of the downsides of these weekly updates sometimes one off weeks or in the case of this half season the entire half season is just not great now maybe you can find some entertainment elsewhere or maybe you just go play a different mode for the week but that is a con that i think is noticeable i don't want to just be strictly hey this is so good so good so good let's ignore the uh, the issues with it there are cons to it and it sort of is what it is another thing that i think some players don't enjoy as much is how much weapons do change now personally for me i love seeing the meta constantly refreshed i like when a uh, certain weapon is standing out a little too much they do nerf it and bring some others more in line with it or they do have these random updates where we might see a weapon that doesn't get much attention randomly buffed and it's not just exclusive to a seasonal launch update or a mid-season update However, I recognize the cons with this where players that don't have as much time to play the game, if you're a bit more casual, maybe you only play for a little bit after work or on the weekends or whatever the case is, having weapons change, you know, very frequently, sometimes it's week to week, most of the times it's every two, three, four weeks. It's hard to keep up with unless you are consistently, you know, watching the videos. Like if you're subscribed to the channel, which, hey, if you're not, this is a great place to be to stay up to date with all things that are changing, all the updates, news, everything like that with COD. So, you know, feel free to hit that sub button. Drop a like on the video as well if you agree with the talking points here, if you enjoy the conversation. It's always appreciated, but I do recognize that that's not for everyone. Some players like the consistency of knowing, hey, I'm not going to be able to play this week, uh, but when I come back next week, this weapon that I just spent the last week leveling up is still going to be good. I totally get that viewpoint as well. But then here's my two biggest takeaways, I would say the weekly challenge system that we now have in place and the event system that we have in place both of these i consider to be absolutely huge w's major improvements to the quote unquote drip fed content that they've done in previous years and i hope this is a system that future cods take this as an example of hey we need to do something like this because it works the weekly challenge system that we've had throughout season one and season two so far every single week we see a new set of challenges drop for multiplayer zombies and battle royale you complete a couple you get a reward usually it's in the form of an aftermarket part occasionally it's in the form of a full-on new weapon like with the mid-season updates and sometimes we get a one-off weapon blueprint that is awesome to me the aftermarket parts in and of themselves i feel like are really cool this year because really a lot of them are like a brand new weapon they're basically introducing an entirely new gun it's just for a weapon that you probably already have leveled up so you don't have to go through the stress of going through and getting 20 new weapon levels to experience a new marksman or something like that like a lot of them are pretty game changing sub maybe some of the optics or basic attachment ones things like turning the bass b into a marksman or the holger 556 into a double barrel rifle really cool and that keeps me coming back like i'm actually really curious every week okay it's wednesday what's the new aftermarket part going to be i'm excited to jump on and see okay is this something that's actually going to be usable could i put this on a weapon and makes it meta all of a sudden or is it something that's maybe a bit more gimmicky and if that's the case oh well it was cool to see what it was and even if it's not something that's totally important the fact that they track these seasonal challenges now for like the season two mastery camo for instance they track these through the weekly challenges means that even if it's not an aftermarket part or a blueprint i'm going to use all that much i still need to go through and unlock the challenges and do those and complete those so i can get that ultimate seasonal reward which could be a really cool like animated camo that's only going to be available for that season that keeps me coming back that keeps the game feeling fresh in my opinion and always has uh you know uh, some sort of checklist some sort of to-do list for me when I'm jumping on from week to week I love that on top of that you also factor in the constant event cycle that we've seen so far it seems like basically every week or every other week we have some kind of new in-game event dropping some of them are collaborations like with Warhammer 40k or The Walking Dead some are a bit more basic and it's like hey there's a Makarov event and some are a little bit more straightforward for this event you just have to earn half a million XP in six days or some are more specific and it's like okay there's seven challenges here get 10 kills with a sniper get 15 kills with a semtex so on and so forth again offering up cool content rewards whether it is an exclusive weapon camo tethered to that event maybe an operator skin a new weapon blueprint 
and it's giving me something to do in game something to look forward to week over week that's actually meaningful a lot of the stuff in the past has been very lackluster maybe it gives you a very basic weapon camo or you get some weapon stickers or decals and those events really aren't all that exciting this year though they've really upped it in terms of their content threshold what's actually valuable blueprints skins camos weapons and they're kind of knocking it out of the park with that stuff now that said while i do really enjoy these warzone updates and these mw3 updates week to week here is my major concern how long can they keep this up do they plan on doing literally weekly updates every single week for the remainder of the year all the way through to you know october and november when black ops Gulf four is going to release can we through season three season four season five season six see a brand new aftermarket part basically every single week can we see some kind of new event with a new camo or a new blueprint every single week or is this something that hey the game's still in its early stages we want to promote it we want to make it look like it's constantly getting updated and changed this is going to get more players on the game and then once we hit that halfway point that three quarter point it sort of it sort of starts to like dwindle off and then it's every other week there's a new update or every three weeks there's maybe something I'm really hoping they can keep up this consistency because it's been awesome so far as I said I am worried though that it's definitely them sort of front loading things here with the game where the first two seasons are packed full of these updates and then they start to become more and more rare over time I hope that's not the case but really only time is going to tell as for now though I feel like it's worth giving credit where credit is due these updates have been really cool so far and I hope this trend continues year over year you know going into cod 2024 cod 2025 i hope they see this and say okay this was a really cool thing we did this year this needs to be a mainstay anyways all that being said that's gonna wrap things up if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it it is always really appreciated and if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out to guarantee you are always up to date with all things going on in cod but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later Peace out.